Hi, my name is... Uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <My name is, laughs> this is my wife-to-be. Her name is Yuan Qi. And this is my husband-to-be. <laughs> this is Yuan Sheng. We first met in... Uh, in actually, we first met in uni. Yeah. We are we're uni uh, classmates. Like yeah. after school, then we go to like... Uh, we had drinks together. That's how we, we bonded yeah, and get closer. After, after party kind of person. <laughs> Okay, first impression is uh I, I don't think I will that time I don't think I will ever be It was it was like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because she she is uh very outgoing and uh very into the nightlife kind of person. And he's which very is quiet. Very opposite from me. Yeah, he's yeah. very quiet, he's very like mm, kind of person, like very blurred. Throughout the three plus years that we were together, we were actually very close friends. So we got closer and then after that, eventually after university, we started you know, going out for like movies because we both love like Marvel and Disney. I think mainly also because the, the group of friends right, that, that we are in the clinic, yeah. they, they are not into this kind of thing. So it's that's what pulled us closer. Yeah. Yeah. You know the, the, photo shoot, the photo shoot we had in school? Oh yeah, yeah. we did! We did have that like, <laughs> like when we were graduating. Mm, so yeah, so our had... friends right, like, because they were like couple couple and after that a few of us were single. Mm. Then after that, they say like, okay, we, we take we take photo okay for you and pretend you are a couple. So yeah. we had a very awkward. We, we had a very awkward, awkward time like I did like this, couple. and then and then he was very awkward. So we did that and then people captured the shot. It was very funny. But at the time we were like both platonic, you know, like we weren't really thinking about anything. So we had a shot, and then uh, that that was our first couple shot by the way. First couple shot. I think yeah. it's the nicest. It's the nicest. It's the nicest one. Nicest. <laughs> nicest one. Cause we were both slim. Yeah. <laughs> now you look at it, it's like not not truth anymore. Yeah. Three years later. Uh, I was going to go to Australia for a working holiday in 2020 and then uh, he just got back from Korea. He gave me this. It's a very nice cup uh, because I don't use it. <laughs> so <laughs> then what's important is actually this. Like inside this box right there is a little note and the note says Dear Kara, take good care of yourself in Australia. You'll be greatly missed my movie, uh, my Marvel movie, Disney movie, museum, buddy. Remember that no matter where you are, you'll always have a friend in me. Come back home whenever you are feeling tired. But before that, enjoy yourself. Yeah, it was a very very simple note, but what actually caught my attention was he said that um, come back whenever you're feeling tired. Then for half a second, yeah, half a second, because I, until then I have always thought of him as a very platonic friend, like a good friend to have. So until that moment I read it, I was, it was that sentence and I was like, it, it was it was like a kind of kind of moment. It was like a flame that poof, came up, and then I was there like 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 trying to go down, go down. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So I was in denial for one whole month. It was one whole month of no, this is not true. Like like when he talks, right, there will be like like uh, maybe like flower coming out, and then and then it will, it will be like shiny and everything. And I was like no 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 erase. <laughs> uh, we started talking a bit more and then I remember there was this one time I asked him a question I asked him if he has any thoughts for the future or relationship like in terms of relationship you know has he thought about it mm -hmm. and even though we were very good friends we don't really talk about relationships his relationships that much so I don't actually know anything so, so my answer to uh, relationship is if it comes then it comes uh. <laughs> Never thought about it. Not particularly it. looking for it. Yeah. So I was like. <laughs> 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 then I go home. Then I thought about it for two more months. And so I decided to do like uh, more in depth digging. So I started asking him. Very obvious. I tell you, if you're a guy, right, you should know. No, like, you should not know. Obvious. It was so very yeah. subtle. Like, uh, like, when we go out, right, then she dress up nicely. Like, She'll be like, I think this time I don't dress up. Nobody see me anyway. <laughs> Do I do that? Yeah. <laughs> I remember I spent about a week thinking to myself like really making the decision on whether I should let him know or not because we were really good friends and I thought to myself that okay if things doesn't go well I might even lose like a, a very good friend to me uh, so I did it anyway yeah it was, <laughs> yeah, it was at Admiralty Hawker. The, you know the hawker centre above yeah, Emirates? Like above, then there was Sky like Garden, this Sky Garden, Sky Garden thing. Then I yeah. brought him there. And the reason why we went there in the first place was because he's very into Pokemon. So we bought our <laughs> Switch. We wanted to play. Yeah. So it was it was like because a Because I just got my Switch yeah. at the time. Then she also had a Switch. So so I was like, 
those friends uh, then I just ask her, do you play Pokemon? We come and trade Pokemon uh. <laughs> So we went out, I brought him to a corner and then I said, I have something to tell you. I mostly erase the, this part from my the memory. Exact words so were, I think I might like you. <laughs> it, it was like this, it was like this. Not even looking at him, we were both looking at HDVs like, yeah. I think I might <laughs> like you. Like you? <laughs> then you can do what exactly you did. Come. You can't get to know then you like for like five ten minutes. Yeah. Five to ten minutes. I was just at the side like, oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> so after she confessed, right? <laughs> first firstly I was very shocked because I always see her as a friend. And then uh after that I think I asked her, do I have to do I have a deadline to get back to you? I think yeah, that was deadline. <laughs> then, then she told me like, no la, no deadline, but don't come back to me five years later. <laughs> told myself like yeah, I think I think I might have some feelings for her, so just that I don't know is very deep. Down. Very, very deep. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> she reached out I, first because something happened at work. Yeah, she reached out. Then, then after that I told her, I took the chance to tell her, hey, you wanna come out to watch Mulan or not? Yeah. He his actual the way he phrased it was, do you want to come out to watch Mulan? Let's celebrate, celebrate your end of first week of work. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I just started a new job. Yeah. He was like, so I, I was like, mm, okay. Yeah. Okay, at that point of time, we weren't talking very much. And it was like, that was his side of the story. Yeah. He got time to think, he got time to like, ask friends months. and family. And meanwhile, I was at home. I was, I was also speaking to my family and friends, but I was going a bit like this. Why are you taking so long? Huh? Why is it taking so long? <laughs> like, like what, how hard is it just to get back to me? That was me. That was me for two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> we went out for dinner first. Usually, we'll have dinner and then a movie. Uh, dinner was very awkward. It was at Suntec. We sat down. Near of the course, fountain of wealth. Yeah, of course, he took out his switch. Because we were supposed to trade Pokemon. <laughs> and, and then I took out my switch. Very not interested in Pokemon. Then, and then we played for I think 2-3 hours. Two, three it was hours. about 3 in the morning. And after there was nothing else left to do and we were very tired. So I told so about uh, what you told me like 2 weeks ago. 2-3 two, weeks, two, weeks ago. 2-3 weeks ago, okay. I, I think I have an answer. La. I said that I say, uh, I think I want to get to know you as a new person again because I've always seen her as a friend. Started dating. St yeah, then we started dating. I thought it was a rejection date. I thought he was going to reject me. Yeah. No. Like, he <laughs> but, did not say... But to say me, it's like, it's like a first date. It, to me, to him, so now we have, we actually have two different first dates date because he thought that was a date. I thought that was a rejection date. So we went to USS and I'm like, okay, maybe we can take this chance. Uh. Like we don't go to like USS is expensive ma, right? Then we must make use of all the facilities, the nice facilities inside. <laughs> the backdrop, you know. Yeah, the backdrop, uh. the fountain. <laughs> so uh I prepared a letter for her. Mm. It's actually uh because she works in HR, she's a recruiter. So I prepared like an application form. Application to be her boyfriend form. <laughs> Which looks like this. And then I kept it in my bag. The, the, whole whole day, time. the whole day. So I think it was drizzling. It was drizzling a bit. So I was afraid that the letter will get wet. Eh? So I have to keep checking, checking my bag without letting her know. <laughs> I actually did not know that. I actually quite enjoyed myself in the roller coaster. I think we went like we got the express pass. So we went like six times. Like, like just keep going. And then at the end of the day, I was like, I told him, I feel a bit dizzy. Yeah. So that and then he took that chance. Yeah. He was like, let's go to the pier. I think I told her, okay, I have something for you. Then, oh my then, God. then her first reaction is her first reaction is. Uh, what? Please, no. don't, please don't get out of one knee. Yeah, yeah. He said, he said, I had something for you. And then he reached out for the bag. And immediately I went, please don't get down one knee. <laughs> he thought, she thought I was going to propose. Thought, because, because he hasn't had like a relationship before. So I actually thought that maybe in his head, right, it goes from dating to proposing to marriage. So, so I was like, no, 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 no. So, so I was like, no, don't get down. And then, and then he turned back like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it was so sweet. Like I read it. I was like quite nervous. I was actually very nervous. He had the company name on top, and the Which company is her name, name and her, her two other personalities. Yeah, my my <laughs> yeah. The company name is Kiara, Yuan Qi, Pauline. Usually when I'm I'm reasonable, I call myself Pauline. <laughs> so sometimes I would say that's not me. Private, not so limited. <laughs> then his name, then all of our inside jokes are here. And then the curious part, there's a lot of cute things. The employment history, because it's an application to be a boyfriend, right? So it says NIL fresh grad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was so sweet. Rani, which you don't also, thinking Sometimes. of you. So we'll be Then he 
he has benefits of hiring me and there's a lot of benefits. I think the, I think the, the more highlighting one. I think the, the only one probably that come true is your parents will approve. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then the last part is like for internal use and it says it says offer second interview and not suitable. And the offer box is actually super big. Yeah. And the not second so interview. Second interview is like middle-ish. And then you can't even see the box for the not suitable. <laughs> so you can't even tick the box. So I'm I said, existent. Yeah. So I, I was like, are you serious? I, I found it very cute. I was, I was asking him, are you serious? You want me to, you know? Yeah. So I did what I, every HR would do, three months probation. <laughs> <laughs> so three months probation. And then I was like, you know, ready to assume the next grade in about one to three years. <laughs> so I signed it off also. So this was the, the letter that I had. So so this one is uh, our first our first Valentine's Day. Mm. And then we went to Lazarus. Uh, Lazarus mm. Island. We went island hopping. Then it was like gift exchange time. La. Then she brought up, she took out this thing. Okay, this thing almost made me cry. La, okay. Almost, almost. When I gave this to him, right, his face <laughs> a... was his face was like this. <laughs> It was the card. It was the card. So okay, so I explained the gift. So, so the gift right is a is half a bottle of Mont Blanc. Half a small bottle, bottle of, Mont of Mont Blanc, and it's perfume. six or seven years old at that point. Yeah. So <laughs> so I, I was like, why oh, you give me perfume? I don't even wear perfume. So the letter is actually is actually her Instagram post. I think twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen. Yeah. When we were together, is when I gave this to him is twenty twenty one. So I, so it reads, uh, Happy Valentine's Day, love. I'm not sure if we have met yet, and I'm not sure if I already know you. I'm sure you're. I'm not. Sure. I'm not sure who you're celebrating this day with, but I'm looking forward to celebrating it with you in the future. So until then, I will reach out for your hand in different continents, hoping you're chasing for your dreams as much as I am, hoping that one day I'll be able to hold on to the hand that I've always been silently celebrating with. Yeah, this was a Valentine's Day post when I was single, very single, also very single. Yeah. So, so that was the card, and then he almost cried. Almost lah. No, you were like you were like on the on the verge. Then I had to hold back. Yeah, no, he, cannot. When I gave this to him, yeah, he actually gave me a very stone reaction, which I don't know what was happening. You know, I I don't really know what was happening. All I saw was this. No. <laughs> and then he didn't spoke for like one two minutes. Eh. I was like, what is going through in head? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, does this happen always? Like when something shocked him, you know? When I confess, he's like. When I give him, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> like, is he a heavy? <laughs> it's all inside the head. Yeah, uh, it's all inside the head. Favorite color? Three, two, one. Black. Pink. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Favorite food? Three, two, one. Corn. Eggs. <laughs> Correct. Correct. <laughs> We painted a picture of our favorite food. <laughs> he don't have any Disney movie. <laughs> he don't have because I asked him that once, and then he said, "Why would anyone has a favorite movie?" Yeah, uh, like you like, then you like, oh, like I can like a lot of movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it right. Three, two, one. Eat. Organizing stuff. <laughs> Eat. You do that every day. It's your hobby. You also do that every day. <laughs> but you like? No, I okay. I eat a lot in one meal, but you know, throughout the day, she keep eating. She keep eating throughout the whole day. Okay, so I think you like that more. or white table. He likes <laughs> white, white table. <laughs> he likes to wipe the table. So he told me to leave that for him next time. Yeah. <laughs> so so for her, she likes to organize stuff. Like I think Sunday, right, when she has nothing to do, she will take out everything from her cupboard, then pack everything back again. And then throw things away. Huh? She will reorganize, right? Like today the, the t-shirt put here, jeans put here, and then tomorrow, right? It's jeans put here, t-shirt put here. Something like that. <laughs> A lot of things. People biting nails. Yeah, okay, he <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think your pet peeve is... I don't have a lot of pet peeve. I'm not like that. I'm not this kind of person. Oh, his pet peeve oh, is like cleanliness. No. Yeah, it's like... No, no, no. Okay, I think my pet peeve is right... Not uh, being able to play with my hair. No, when she's... When, when someone is late, and then right, oh. they will give many many <laughs> excuses why they are late. Because my dog cannot lock, <laughs> my, my mask cannot find. <laughs> Which is that, her. Is, that is really his family. Is one annoying habit that they have? Oh, so many. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so many. Bite nail, rub eye, 
Then every day, uh, play with my hair. Like the hair is obviously curly. I because permed I it. I permed it. You do, you do what you do. For once, <laughs> I allow you to do. No, no, you Post don't straight, like. Straight. Yeah. There's something in your hair. Yeah. See, <laughs> all the time, every day, every day. So yeah, those are mine. A few. She shake her her leg a lot. Like when eating or whatever, she needs to shake her leg. I tell her don't shake. That's that's all your. Wealth, you know, you shake your wealth away. But I shake and here you are. Okay. <laughs> pig. Pig, pig. No, it's not the, the disgusting pig, it's the cute, the cute kind of pig. <laughs> you know, her, her surname is, in Chinese, oh. is Zhu. Then, uh, she don't eat pork. She's like, uh, she cannot eat pork. She eat pork the next day, she has tummy ache. Mm. So I, I think, I think pink. Yeah. I think he. And also nowadays she eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but for you, I think hippopotamus. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> <laughs> because the mouth super big. Like you see the food. Ah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Crocodile if, also what? If I say dog, you don't like dogs. Dog don't like you. I don't like. I'm if I say pig, that's me. <laughs> so hippopotamus oh? mm. We had no proposals. I have no rings. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so because right, uh, she don't want a proposal in Singapore. Okay, and then we see because of COVID we cannot travel, ma. And then Not necessarily like for I think for us, uh, there is a story there like, It's like more of a um, we got our VTO already last year, and then. Um, and whenever we talk, it was like, it was really no surprise or like no. That it's going to be. Yeah, that no hesitation that it's going to be each other. So, mm. essentially, the relationship because we were friends before that, so we already knew each other quite well. So when we started dating, it was more like a, like a it, it was awkward for a bit, but then after that, it just it just flows, and then, um, uh, we got our video in like May, so like not very far away from when we first started dating, and then. Yeah, there was just no doubt and then when we were talking about it, then we were doing life planning uh, for the future. We think that proposal is is it doesn't have to be before a marriage. Lah. Yeah, it's it a it's an event. It's it's like it's an, a, event. an event. It's supposed to be a special event for her. Yeah. So And Sheen. Mm. <laughs> I will also do a proposal back, but he has to propose first. We talked about it. I think proposal is like a maybe a very different meaning is like um committing to each other for life, right? So I don't think it should be a question because there is literally no question here like whether is it you or is it me, something like that. So I don't really need him to ask and I don't really need to ask him. It's a surprise Yeah, event. it's like a event where where we both had, uh, we talked about it and, and I shared with him, you know, some things that I would like for the proposal like um, and then he shared with me, you know, what his idea of a proposal is like. So I think it should be both ways and I think that it shouldn't be, um, I want it to be a surprise. We both want it to be a surprise. So. If you if you're talking about marriage, you know the proposal is coming. Like you know it's coming, you know, and it's before the marriage. So you have like a that there is no not much of a surprise element there. Surprise. Yeah. yeah. So eventually we were thinking we will get married anyway. So we'll just, we'll just get married. And then whenever we get to, you know, travel around or you know, whenever we feel like the time is right, uh whenever you know you feel like the time is right, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, uh, because if we propose now, ah, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so whenever the time is right, I think we'll, we'll both do it. But we will both do it. Yeah. Thank you for watching. We also have a live stream. The animals, la. And the animals, yeah. We also have a live stream. So, um, for people that you know will not be attending the wedding and it's abroad, you know, our families and friends, mm. uh, enjoy the video, I guess, and enjoy this video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.